Hello everybody, my name is Anton Rojas and this is LS Talks in De La Salle University, Manila, Philippines. LS Talks is a project of the International Association of La Salle Universities or IALU to share the best practices of the different La Salle universities from all over the world. Now this is an opportune time for us La Salleans to share with one another our school's pride, outstanding professors, remarkable projects, and of course other noteworthy endeavors as we commemorate the death or centenary of our founder, St. John Baptist de La Salle. Now, I remember when I was in school, I would always see the phrase, La Salian Achievers for God and Country. It was in every classroom in DLSU, and that is why I'm very excited to talk about this with none other than the president of de La Salle University, Brother Raimundo Suplido, FSC. Brother Ray, good day to you, and thank you so much for Hello, your time. Anton. Welcome. Okay. Brother Ray, for my first question, how does La Salian education make a difference in society? When the first brothers came to the Philippines in 1911, yes. they brought with them the La Salian legacy of education, which is an education that is holistic and responds to the needs of society. And so from then up to the present, La Salian education continues to respond to the needs with graduates who have imbued values which are needed by society and their families and culture. They also are educated in to become competent and critical thinkers because we expect them to be leaders in business, in industry, in society. And so that is one way in which La Salian education helps in developing or continuing the development of Philippine society. And I think that you put this phrase that I mentioned earlier, La Salian achievers for God and country in every classroom because it's in a way encapsulating the message that you just shared. So brother, what does this truly mean? La Salian achievers for God and country. It means that we offer our students the best teachers so that they will be challenged uh, academically but we also offer to them a variety of activities co-curricular or extracurricular so for example they have organizations or clubs where their other skills are developed uh, student government for for leadership and in that way different aspects of their personality are developed, not separate from each other, but contributing to an integrated person. And then in their studies, research is also part of the equation because research is important in decision-making, in planning. And so whether they, from the time they are students to the time they graduate, that attitude of basing decisions on good analysis, good criticism of what is happening, and of course, innovation and creativity. Brother A, what are DLSU's initiatives to pursue the La Salle mission? First of all, we put up for ourselves the importance of being a leading learner-centered and research university because that is important that uh, we are targeting the delivery of teaching research to our students. They are the primary, uh, you might say, targets or beneficiaries. And then, but we don't limit ourselves to what happens on campus. So we also have programs where the students uh, undergo what we call service learning, where what they study inside the classroom, they bring to a community outside. They dialogue with the community to find out what are the conditions in the community. And from what they hear and what they have been studying, they match. How can what is happening in the classroom answer maybe some of the needs of the community? And then they, they work it out. So it's an education that is not ivory tower. 
it's an education that is in touch with the realities of society and of our partner communities. Also, our research is oriented towards sustainable growth because again, we know that our planet is in crisis and everyone's effort is needed, as Pope Francis encouraged us, to contribute what we can in order to protect our planet Earth. Another way is to make Lasallian education accessible. So we have a, a big, you might say, scholarship program going on. And we can, we're happy to say that one out of every five students enjoy full tuition scholarship. Wow. So that, I think that allows uh, a good number of students or learners who are certainly competent, but maybe are challenged economically, that they, can, that they are not excluded, but they become part of the Lasallian community. Brother A, thank you so much for your time. I'm sure all of our viewers are as odd as I am to sit down here and talk to you about how Lasallian education shapes our people and our nation. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you also, Anton. Once again, this is DLSU and IALU's LS Talks. I'm Anton Ross. Have a good day and Animo LaSalle.